Mwah. Hey guys, so today is a chill day at my apartment. Um, I'm gonna be running a few errands and then going by the pool later just to chill. It's so beautiful out here in Phoenix today. So I'm gonna suck it up and go out there and get a little suntan on. Lord knows I need it. Um, but uh, I'm gonna do a little get ready with me video. So it's just gonna be my face the whole time. Uh, sorry about that. But we're gonna do a quick, easy uh, makeup routine just for like, yeah, a chill day. Also, a super cute hairstyle that I actually get a ton of questions about how I do it. Um, and it's kind of super easy and it doesn't look super easy, which is kind of fun because I do it on my hair when it's like three, four, five day dry shampoo hair and it looks like I spent 30 minutes on it when I spent maybe five. And also just talk and update you guys on my life throughout the way. So yeah, that's gonna be the video. Starting out with my La Rouge Posé CC cream that I use um, when I want an easy look. Oh. Mm, so I just put this all over just like a moisturizer. Just kind of evens out my skin tone. Um, so update on life. I took my state board exam for cosmetology and I passed. Whoop. I'm so excited to have that done for. Like, I hate tests so much. That's kind of why I didn't like college and didn't like school in general. And cosmetology school, I kind of just floated on by as far as like the academic part goes. Um, I really didn't study for anything. And there like wasn't much academic stuff. I mean, it was like obviously a lot more of, um, hair stuff but still we had to learn like anatomy and stuff of the you know face head hands you know neck all of that but it still it wasn't like that much of that so thank god i didn't have to do much of it but for the state board it's a lot more like specific so um i actually had to like study for that and i was a little <sighs> um okay i'm gonna go in with my um wet and wild photo focus foundation um, and I don't use it as a foundation. I just put it right underneath my eyes as like a conceal. Um, so yeah, I had to actually like study a little bit like harder for that um, just to go over it. And then the practical one is like, um, they used to do it on like live uh, models, but now they do it on a mannequin doll. So it's like really stupid because you have to like literally treat the mannequin doll as if it's a, a person and it's like on a mannequin stand like on the table and i'm like super tall so i was like doing everything like super low and my back was hurting like a ton and yeah i took my state board class at tony and guy in school like five months prior and so i had forgotten so much stuff in there you don't even realize like how much you forget um, so yeah, I had to kind of go and refresh myself again, but I went in there and I took that thing and I'm so glad that it's over. So I just took my like, I don't know what this thing even is. It's, I got it at Forever 21. Um, and I know like my sister has one from Mac and I, so I know like they have them there, but this one's just like a copycat of that, I guess but it blends this out pretty good. After that, I'm just gonna go in with my NYX highlight and contour palette. And I just use this matte shade right here and I just pack um, that in so it sets. So yeah, so I'm done with that, so that's really good. Um, and Owen is done with his MCAT. He took that um, on May 18th and that was super exciting to get done with. Still has not gotten his scores back. He will find out on June 19th. So we still have like a little bit of time for that. Um, so yeah, we're both like kind of over the hump of testing, which is like lovely. Okay, I'm gonna go in now with, um, I just got this Tardiest Tarte Glow Palette or Glow Pro Palette um, Highlight Contour um, in my Fat Fit Fun Summer Box. If you watch that video, I unboxed it. Um, and I love this freaking palette, you guys. So I use this, um, they have a cream um, bronzer and a powder bronzer, but I don't know, creams just like creep me out. I don't know. So I use the powder one, it's called Sculpt. 
and it really just like maybe I was using a cheap high or a cheap um, bronzer before because maybe I just don't know like what's good and what's bad but this one just like gets on the brush so well like I just like tap it once and it's like there's product already um so I'm gonna blend this out um what else guys about life um we're going on vacation soon oh i'm taking my rockateur uh by benefit uh this is my blush and i just kind of put that right here on like the apples of my cheeks okay not too much it's kind of hard in this lighting honestly like i thought this would be good lighting because it's like natural and it's right by this really big window but it's like different lighting than inside my bathroom so i don't even know if this is like turning out at all but we'll see you guys first get ready with me like fail okay um next i'm just gonna take my highlighter in the tardiest palette again um i like the lit and the strobe i take the bronzier one and i go buy the bronzer because i don't know just looks pretty and then i take more of the light one and go on my nose and like on my cupid's bow down here and yeah around just around and then like any extra bronzer that i have i kind of go up here too but like i'm not like precise or anything um so yeah we're traveling a lot soon i'm really excited about it um i'm going home this weekend actually this is rabbit trail like big time but i'm going home this weekend um to do my wedding dress try on i'm so excited um i've been waiting for this for like ever um we're going into beverly hills uh with my mom my grandma and my future mother-in-law and they only like let three people i wanted my bff and my sister but like couldn't do it so and like i needed my grandma and i needed my two mamas so we're gonna go i'm so Oh, excited they said to like pick out a few designers and then a few like styles that you like like a line whatever that you want and so i'm like yeah i can't wait so i'm a little bit nerve-wracked because i like have only tried on a wedding dress one other time and it wasn't even like an official try on i modeled wedding dresses for like a um company out here in phoenix or not in phoenix in gilbert and yeah so this will be like my first like thing good i'm so excited Okay, I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. Um, brow, whatever, brow mascara. Fun fact, since last time I saw you guys, I had really ratchet brows. So I went and finally got them done. I'm very anal with my brows. Like I just don't let anyone touch them. And I was gonna let my friend from beauty school wax them, but then we ended up graduating and life just got busy. Um, and so they were like literal caterpillars. And I had heard good things about threading, but I was like scared. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go get them waxed. And so I just like went to the benefit like brow bar at Ulta and I got them done and I got them waxed and tinted and the tint is like nice because yeah it's uh makes them a lot darker which is really nice so I don't have to put as much of this and I had the microbladed but the pain was so bad and I was thinking I would have to go do it again but now that they're tinted they're like a perfect amount of darkness for me so that's good so I'm just gonna go in with this now just to kind of make them a little bit bolder than just like natural natural but i'm telling you guys if you haven't gotten your eyebrows tinted highly highly recommend it it makes life a lot like easier like i thought i would have to go in for that microblading again and i'm so glad i don't even if i have to like eventually i don't want to anytime soon i hated that experience like so much Everyone that I talked to though says that like their experience wasn't near as bad. So maybe I just went to like a person that, yeah. Okay, another side note. I did some hair yesterday and I forgot gloves. So I like royally messed up my hands. They're like all stained and disgusting. So don't worry, that's not like, that's hair color. Um, so yeah, um, what else? So yeah, so I'm going home for my wedding dress try on, which I am like, thrilled about um and that's this weekend um and then what's next after that that is june okay and then i'm going to lake havasu with my bff rookie she's been in a few of my videos um and uh she has i do boating with my family but they do like a different kind of boating like the boat that my family has is like a speed boat it's like an eliminator 
and it has it only fits like five people and it's like a has a closed hole in the front so like it just doesn't it's more like for speed and like for looks than it is like for like actual like oh my gosh Ugh, i need a q-tip now great the one time i do a get ready with me and yeah i blink too hard okay i'm back okay fix that all right so um what was I saying? Oh yeah, so boating. Um, so yeah, her parents have like more of like a uh, water skiing kind of boat and they also have jet skis, so I'm excited about that. Um, I've only ridden those like a few times because my family never really like did that. And every time I like, we would go someplace where we could rent them, they were always like, God, like, I don't know, like $200 like for like, three hours or some BS like that. So we never did it. Then after that, we are going to Maui in July. So excited. It's been, gosh, it's been probably three years since I've been to Hawaii. So last time I went to Kauai and that was in, God, like 2014 or 2015. So it's been a long while, way too long. Um, so that's not fun at all. Um, and so we're going back and this time it's even more special because we're going for wedding planning um and then i'm just gonna finish up the look with this naked um urban decay naked lipstick and it's like super light okay mm. and then after that i usually just put on i have it in my purse actually i just put on um, my burt's bees like vanilla bean chapstick over it so this is like the makeup routine super easy i use this Revlon volumizing uh, mascara. I usually don't do mascara because I usually have eyelash extensions on, but this last like two months I've been taking a break. My eyelashes were a little bit wrecked, so yeah. Okay, so yeah, we're going to uh, Maui um, and we're gonna see our venue, which I'm so excited about. I actually haven't seen it in person yet. So that's gonna be like a blast. Okay guys, I'm just gonna get into my um, hair routine now. So this is like, four day old hair it just has the same beach waves that i put in it the very first day and then i just slept in it so they get like looser and looser as i go um and then the first thing i'm gonna do oh wow. sorry my like irons on over there and i thought it was burning through something <laughs> okay um i'm gonna go in with my bed head this is the oh my beehive um dry shampoo and this is just gonna help keep everything i gotta do this after like four days because yeah it's time okay um so yeah we're gonna see the venue which i'm so excited about it's right outside of lahaina in um mckenna maui a um plantation house like right by or no it's like not by the water it's like on the water pretty much and it's like this pretty farmhouse with this huge um porch and then it has like gardeny vibe like right outside the house and then literally the ocean so like it's gonna be an outdoor reception and outdoor ceremony so it's gonna be like super beachy super hawaiian-y hawaiian-y hawaii-ness um, and then there's also like trees though, like with like the garden -y feel that, that are going to have like big bistro lights in them and like, yeah, I'm so excited guys. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. So next that I did kind of the dry shampoo, I'm going to pull my hair to one side and I usually always just do this side. And what you need for this look is you need, um, three of these little itty bitty, um, clear elastics. I don't know if you can see them, they're like so tiny, but you know what I'm talking about. So um, there's my first one, and I'm just gonna elastic all this hair, just like right up here. Um, so yeah, the venue is gorgeous, um, and I love how it's like the perfect mix of like Hawaii, because it's like beachy, but then it also has like some of like that gardenous feel too, um, to where it like feels like lush at the same time. Okay, once I have this hair tie in, I'm gonna take, honestly, these are so thin, you don't really have to do this, but I like to. I just take like a tiny, tiny little bit of hair and I just like, I just wrap it around the hair tie so then it has kind of like a thick band of hair. And then you can either re like tuck the hair if you want to, but my hair has like a ton of layers up top, so it's kind of hard to do that, so I just have to bobby pin them. So I just bobby pin them behind the pony in the back. Okay. There we go. Okay, 
Um, then I'm gonna take another baby elastic, if I can find one, there it is. And I'm just gonna go like right below it at like probably, see my layers, <laughs> so fun, right? Um, I'm gonna go like right here, yeah, it's kinda hard to see, I have a weird mirror right here. Okay, and then I'm gonna create a little hole in this like little bulb right here, okay? Um, okay, yeah. And then I'm just gonna take my fingers and make a little pincher and then grab my hair and pull it on through. And see how it makes like this little like donut, cr not donut, like croissant -y looking fold in. Kind of to me looks like a little like tail of something. Kind of fishtail y, but different. And then you can just pull it, squeeze it, like kind of yank it out, make it look messy, like literally as messy as you want. That's about good for me. Then I'm gonna take another baby elastic um, and do the exact same thing again. The venue is gonna be gorgeous. We're also going to um, be meeting with photographers. We are gonna be um, doing two tastings for food, cake, um, and such. And then we are meeting with videographers as well. And then I am doing a makeup trial, makeup and hair trial. So I'm really excited about that. Um, I'm not like super particular with that kind of thing, but just cause like, I don't know. I just like natural makeup anyways. Um, but I still think it'll be like really cool to like experience that. Okay. And then I'm going to do it one more time. So I'm going to do that. What else are we doing? Um, blah blah oh we're meeting just like obviously with our planners um who have been like freaking amazing i'm working with a company called bliss and they are amazing they're two um i believe they're brothers or like best friends and then they have like a few assistants as well that are just like fabulous um, okay, and I usually just stop at three because I don't like my ends to like look ratchety like super like thin and like Stringy looking so if I did another one the tail would literally be like that which is so gross So then the very last one I'm gonna take a piece again and wrap it around just so it has like a little wrappy wrap and I guess I could tuck this one, but I'm gonna be lazy and not I'm just gonna bobby pin it for today but there is a really cool bobby pin trick that, um, yeah, I should probably do a little tutorial on that because I don't I feel like it's kind of a cool trick and like not very many people know how to do it. Little pieces like by my ear and just kind of yank those out so it looks like messy and beachy and fun. And then I do have my flat iron here just so I can like tame these little mamas in the front. Okay. Um... Yeah, so then we're going to Maui, and then that's that trip. We're gonna be there for, I believe, a little over a week, so it'll be kind of fun. It'll be like a wedding planning and vacation all in one. It's gonna be really fun. Um, and then after that, um, our next big trip is gonna be Europe, and we leave um, later, like middle of August for that. Owen and I are gonna try to do another camping trip. We're either gonna go to Horseshoe Bend again, or maybe into Utah. Where else? There's a few other cute camping places that we haven't done yet. Um, so yeah, that's kind of like summer plans. So I'm gonna make a wedding like venue, kind of whatever, basically like a Maui wedding planning trip vlog so you guys can kind of see what the venue looks like and yeah, like the makeup trial and whatever else, just fun stuff because when I actually get married, I'm not gonna be doing any of that. So it's kind of fun to get like a pre sneak peek of what that's gonna look like. I'm gonna try to do a wedding dress try on vlog too, but I just really want that day to be special and like chill. So if I just feel too bombarded that day and I don't want to, then I'm just not gonna do it. Um, I just don't want it to become like a secondary perspective from a video because sometimes these videos can be like that you guys like i'm being totally straight with you sometimes these videos can just like take over your life and you feel like you're seeing everything from a little screen like that big and it's really crappy and then you look back and you're like i didn't even really enjoy it i was so worried about getting that perfect shot i was so worried about like ooh, that would have been cool on the vlog it's just stupid so life is fun and yeah you want to capture it for like memories for later on so your kids can see them and you can look back on them but you don't want it to become your entire life you just don't and i've kind of learned that like the more and more that i do these things i like 
always take that into consideration. Like, am I actually enjoying this trip for what the trip is and not just to create a vlog or a video or Instagram content. Content is super fun and I love creating it, but as long as it doesn't like take over my life and it controls me, that's not gonna happen. So I will see how I feel that day and we'll play it by ear that way. But I really just wanna enjoy that day with really special women and yeah, it's my wedding dress try on you guys. I've been dreaming of this day since I was a little girl. I think every girl has. That's the end of the video guys. I hope you guys like this get ready with me video. Um, super different, super casual, um, fun to catch up and fill you guys in on my life. And um, yeah, I should do these more often. They're kind of fun and like just chill. So um, yeah, if you guys like this hairstyle, go ahead and try it. It's so fun and so easy, but it looks like you spent like a lot of time on it. The other cool thing you can do with it is you can split it in half and make it two topsy pigtails, which is really cute as well. Um, and I like to do that and then wear like either a baseball cap or a cabbie. So this is kind of how you do it for all the people asking, how do you get that hairstyle? It's a lot easier, right? Um, and then makeup is just simple. If you have any questions on the products that I use, then put them in the comments below. I will see you guys hopefully in a wedding dress try on video. If not, our next vacation in Hawaii, most likely. I'll see you guys next video. Bye.